forgetting to get some light in here. I got some light in here for you guys. Not too much light. Enough that I can see the face. That should be not too bad. There we go. You can do anything with light. With light, you can hide stuff. With light, you can show stuff. Does see you. How's it going, brother? Nice to see you, man. Uh, you know what, bro? It's getting hot. It's starting to get hot, which is a good sign. Been stuck uh, having that weather, crazy weather all the time. Andrew L., how's it going, brother? Nice to see you, man. Thanks a lot, eh, you guys, for the ongoing support. I appreciate that. So I thought it would have been cool, you know, not to linger too much, but to talk about the interview, the radio interview. It's been my dream to try to uh, reach people on radio to get the word out on the, mes the message about my work. So I look pretty scruffy, don't I? So I hope that, uh, you know, it'll be a good plus the radio announcement. Unfortunately, the, announce the interview is going to be in French. Um, I'm in a French province right now, so that that's a good start to getting the research out. But for those of you who are going to have a hard time um, understanding the interview and everything, I'm going to try to fix something up, and I will do a translation over top of the interview, and I will ask Carol if I can share it with you all, and I'll do the translation so that you guys will know exactly uh, everything that was going to be asked. There will be more interviews in English, hopefully with the radio um, in the coming months, maybe before the summer, lots are going to, uh, things are going to change because you see people, uh, radio stations are now only able to broadcast and really talk about UFOs, which they couldn't really do so before, not as much. So okay, everything. Okay. Lining up. Hey, Darla, Dana Shiver. Whoa, moon man. This is cool. It is the first time I received a reminder. Oh, geez. Yeah. Well, that's how it is, Dana. Hear it. And thanks, Dana, for the ongoing support and everything. And every way that you guys support the channel, having an awesome, uh, nothing's going to change. I don't care if I get a, if the research would go as far as getting on television. I'm still never going to stop this channel. I love it. And I love interacting with you all. And we're not going to hide it. You all know that it's because of you guys, um, not solely, but a part of the reason why I'm still here. It's because you guys supported the channel uh, over the years. So it's, it's greatly appreciated, but it's hard. Uh, this month, uh, probably about 60,000 views or something like that this month. So it's not very, very bad month for Bruce Sees All. Be beginning of the year often is like that, but we're not in January anymore. We're, we're going into April. So the views should start going up as I'm showing the research even better than I was, I was showing it. I thought I was, but um, again, it's not showing up. Even the radio interview is not going to get that many probably people watching it i hope so though zombie how's it going brother zombie i was singing your name in a song the other day <laughs> so gay eh? <laughs> i had some fun i made a a silly little jingle i've been doing a lot of silly jingles this week and i'll tell you what uh, somebody liked the troll song which uh, and liked the beat and uh a band um today um reached me in comments section and said they were going to redo the song for me and uh, with the band and everything, with a whole bunch of people singing it. Uh, and, you know, I said, hey, wow, what a, I have one hell of a tribute. That will be funny to see a professional band. I mean, I wish I had a professional band. I don't have time to go out and play in bands. It hit 18 degrees here yesterday, then uh, rained all night. <laughs> Andrew, yeah, so you, you definitely don't have any snow left, whether you had snow or not in your area. But yeah, here too, man, about uh, a week ago, a week ago, we got enough rain. It melted 85% uh, of the snow. And I would tell you there's still a good 15 to 12% maybe of snow left, meaning it's starting now to show us uh, the grass. We're, we see the roads. We're starting to see the, you know what? This year, the rivers didn't freeze. They did not freeze here. We, um, every year we have cities, little towns, um, ice towns where people bring their uh, a lot of weight, many cases of beer. They bring uh, their cauldrons to burn uh, inside of their little cabins with a little hole in the bottom of the floor. That's vacation for people who like ice fishing. Well, this year the ice fishing was done on the side of uh, the river because there was no cars on the river this year. And I would say it's three, four, maybe even five years now 
that we're starting to see less and less people on the ice around here. Not scary because when I was born, the ice was always frozen here. And listen, you could drive, um, not could, they did. They would, the 10 wheeler trucks and garbage trucks and heavy trucks um, would cross, not the 48 footers, but they would cross the ice. Just cross the ice to the other side in Valleyfield without going through the ice. So you got to wonder how thick it is, but I honestly wouldn't take the chance today. Zombie says no notification as usual. Yeah, sorry about that, man. So stupid. It's lame. Uh, comments disappearing. Lots of comments that I'm responding to you back are disappearing. I admit it's pretty frustrating, but uh, what do you want to do? What do you want to do when you live in the shoe? Oh, everything okay? <laughs> but I was excited about the radio. A hey, uh, Ferry Frequency, good afternoon to you. Thanks a lot for being here. Mass Bishop's in the house. Hello to you. Are they going to talk about those darn UFOs yet? I know they have till June to talk about it, but damn, are they going to actually take till June to tell us? I was hoping they were going to tell us before, but what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Moonbird, thank you very much for saying that. It's thoughtful. At least it shows that you guys care. <laughs> You know, I tell you, Moonbird, if someone was the chosen one, I probably think they probably they probably wouldn't even know. Eh? They would just be concentrating on getting things out. And But uh, is there a chosen one? I wonder. It'd be nice to think that there was, to think that someone's, you know, really taking care of uh, getting the information out. We've got a bunch of channels. I hooked up with a bunch of controversial channels. It's not true. That's not true. I tried to reach a bunch of the big controversial channels. I, I reached uh, AJ on top of it, uh, sent some emails about some of the truth of what's on the moon. Um, I always tell people when I send them information or videos of mine, very, very rarely, I tell them, you don't have to mention my name if you don't want to mention my name, but just get the information out there that there is something on the moon. At the beginning, I'm sure some of you remember, I started talking about what was on the moon for one reason only. It was to tell people, uh, the religious people that go to church, like my grandmother used to all the time when she was alive, that not to stop believing in God and don't believe anyone that tells you to do so ever. Uh, they wouldn't know even if they say that they were the chosen one. But in reality, I, I wish people would open their minds to other possibilities. If you're a religious person and you're in your church and your church is, um, for some reason, has never mentioned, like all churches, uh, UFOs, aliens, and stuff like that, um, ask them. More people will ask them and you will get a response. You will be quite surprised at the response uh, you will get because I was told off by a Catholic priest when I asked them about UFOs and about extraterrestrials and uh, about questions of God. Now they got They must understand and they must know that people are, are curious and they'll go to a priest to ask them information about God. And that's a response that a priest will give you. Well, for if a priest responds like that to me, I'll never uh, listen to one again. And that's um, why I said to myself, um, it was the saddest part of my life, guys, like you guys and gals, when I realized that the system that was around me was not for me. I reached the system to tell them there was stuff on the moon, right? The governments and stuff, they don't care. They know it's up there. They're the ones that are probably doing it all. And anyone that would bring any information um, or change the world's views, it's, it's unacceptable and it's not going to go through. Bob Lazar made a lot of stink about the UFOs, but he didn't change the world, now did he? Well, he did, actually. He changed the world with our thoughts, obviously, the way we think. But when you think of it, they don't want somebody um, coming out with something that will actually really change the way people think of the system and the way people think of religion and, and God, you know. Pass off for a, a bad person, like I have often. I still do pass off for a bad, bad guy sometimes. A lot of little playing around with, you know, Mr. Brucey 666, and then people linger on that, and then, you know, uh, Bruce has a skull beside him while well, he's a devil and stuff. S symbols are there to uh, probably confuse most people, right? Um, a guy has, you know, often a guy will walking down the street has a skull on his shirt and a bunch of blood on his shirt or whatever. I mean, what does it mean, right? Like, what does that symbolize for him? It could symbolize that the guy
badass evil person, or it could symbolize that the guy believes in things being done powerfully, things being done uh, directly, you know, without lying and stuff. So symbols can be uh, interpreted differently by a lot of different people, that's for sure. Clyde Laws is in the house. How's it going, brother? We got Bev Jensen, th Jensen, sorry. Thank you, first timer. Bev, I appreciate that. Always greatly appreciated. Uh, we have a hard time getting some newcomers here. Ed's World. Ian, how's it going, bro? Nice to see you, my man. Always a pleasure. You guys check out Ed's World. Great guy. Great channel. Lots of people here have great channels and that do astronomy, that do, uh, uh, you know, infrared, even zombie. Zombie's doing that too. Zombie had got that nice. I, I had really appreciated that, that, uh, um, the one you got was Elon Musk's rocket or something. I'm not saying it necessarily was, but that's how I saw uh, it look. But yeah, you know, I think the best UFO videos are are from from guys and gals like you and I. That's all. That's what I think. The best videos that I've seen on uh, the internet were regular people, 40s, 50s. You know, no matter what age or color or race they are, people get a lot of good UFOs. Brazil and all those places. Some some places have better chances at getting UFOs. I was out last night. The moon, I saw the moon orange as it went down by the horizon, as it always does. You could see all the um, stars were out. So I went outside and started filming, and then the clouds came by. It can't be something that's going to happen every time, right? I go outside, and then, you know, things change. But it can't happen every time. It can't happen every time for sure. At one point, things are going to be seen. Um, the asteroid, right? 2012, the A... Is it D14? Just write D14, you'll find it. I may be missing a letter. But um, the uh, the asteroid's supposed to be going by today. So today, tonight. I would think probably between Friday and Saturday. Um, apparently, I would not see it here. Just to let you all know. So if I catch something tonight, it may be something else or the asteroid itself australia europe um they're going to have um, um a, a possible a possibility of seeing it uh, me here in the north i would not i don't think uh, I, I still look when they say there's an asteroid in europe that's going to be seen in europe it won't be seen here who says and it always happens as it's coming into earth's uh atmosphere it could come in right here in the north and that's what people you know they're not going to say that, but who knows, right? They say that it's not going to hit Earth. It's going to be damn close. It's going to be the closest asteroid ever to pass by Earth. But now I'm going to repeat. I'm going to say something else. They say it's the closest ever uh, going by Earth. It's in lower Earth orbit. Since 2012, this object is in lower Earth orbit going around the Earth. That's what it's doing. That's what I believe it's doing. 45 diameters, uh, uh, meters, 45 meters in diameter. That's pretty, pretty, pretty big. If I'm not mistaken, it's close to a football field. No, maybe. I have no idea. I haven't walked along a football field in a while, but I'm pretty sure. Um, it's going to be pretty big. Eight kilometers per second, which I thought it was eight, eight kilometers per hour. I was like, wow, we're going to have plenty of time to fill it. And no, it's eight seconds. Obviously, so it's going to be going by pretty fast. You should see a streak of light. Those of you in, in uh, Europe and Australia should see it, um, but not here. So they say, you never know. I'll still be outside looking because um, there's slivers to come in. When an asteroid is going around Earth, there's a whole bunch of slivers coming off of it. And usually, like, for example, I can almost guarantee anyone, no matter what country you're in, go outside tonight and you are going to see probably some meteor showers like meteor showers, it's going to be a parts of slivers maybe of that asteroid, depending on what time it goes by, whether it be metal or, or uh, a ball of snow. I didn't check the details of that asteroid. 2012, surprising. I'm pretty good, Fairy Frequency. Thanks for asking. I'm really happy that I, I was able to set up that interview. Uh, it's been two years, eh? Uh, last year, there was an incident, and then the, and it was a pandemic occurred. Uh, things changes. Um, the person that reached me, guys, didn't know I had a Bruce Seasall channel. Uh, Car uh, 
Carol Lozé, very, very sweet lady. She thought that I had only the French channel. And then I, I told her, no, I said, I have Bruce sees all is where I started. It's my source channel. So she's looking at a lot of, uh, videos there. So yeah, basically I'm just going to get a chance, uh, to be talking with, um, her on the radio because the radio station itself wanted to reach me. Uh, the radio station, one of the guys, couple guys at the radio station, um, found me on YouTube and, uh, were interested in some of the work. So now, uh, finally set up an interview with uh, Carol to be able to, who knows, right? I don't know. I could be a bit nervous to be asking me any questions and stuff. I'm not here to show off. You know how I'm going to be. I'm just going to be straight up, straight old Bruce. You know, questions I can't answer. I'm not going to try to answer them. I basically found stuff on the moon because of my research, not because I, I was studying UFOs. Uh, the study in, in ufology came after. And where does someone study in ufology? Same place as you are all studying, just looking up, researching online. Uh, you know, it's not like ufologists all have YouTube channels, right? I don't think any of them do. In reality, I sort of started a bit backwards. Maybe that's what made some people maybe think that, you know, hey, it could be just a hoax. But take the time to look yourself at the videos. Take the time to look for yourself. Richard uh, Arbois Junior. Hello. Thank you, man. Arbois Ju Jr. Sorry. Uh, Bruce, I truly am grateful for all you do on your channel. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. Uh, thanks for the hard work, dedication, and sacrifice. Thank you very much for appreciating it and for knowing that sometimes it is a lot of work. Um, I wish you my best, my friend, in 2021 and beyond. Yes, and beyond. And uh, Richard, thanks a lot. Thanks for joining. There's going to be a lot going on this summer, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm doing this full time, so there, there won't be any reason for me not to be outside looking at exactly what's going to go by in the sky with infrared or with a telescope. As the years progress, there'll be, uh, you know, money is money, right? It takes money, a lot of money to change devices and stuff, and we'll get there at one point. And uh, we still have a lot of research to do with the 14. Um, at one point, I will change cameras to be able to also do... Um, the stars and nebulas, nebulas. I know you all are interested in that too. I know some of you would love for me to start trying to get into Mars. That will come in 2022, 23. I promise you, I promise you, we're going to do some nice, nice, nice zooming up into Mars. So if Bruce is a little closer than a lot of people on the moon, maybe I'll be a little closer than a lot of people on Mars. That's going to make a lot of fighting, won't it? But it'll be interesting to find out. Benoit gets no comment, ça va? Ben ouais, tu vas pouvoir m'écouter à la radio. T'es du proche de Lévis? 96.9, sinon tu vas pouvoir m'écouter euh, en ligne, mon ami. Et sur la chaîne euh, française aussi, je vais en parler. Mais vu que t'es ici, ben c'est ça, le lien est dans la communauté, euh, Benoît. Je vais mettre t'es intéressé, ou pour les ceux entre vous, euh, si vous êtes intéressé, bonne nouvelle, euh, l'entrevue va être en français. C'est avec euh, Carole Lozé. Si jamais tu veux aller s'aîner... Euh, euh, Benoît de Gatineau, Carole Lozé, elle travaille chez CJMD à Livy, station de radio 96.9 à Livy, Québec. Puis je vais finalement avoir la chance d'avoir une entrevue avec elle, puis de jaser un peu aussi en même temps de, de ses trouvailles, puis j'en suis, suis sûr. Fait que euh, c'est pour ça que je suis ici aujourd'hui un peu pour en parler. Mass Bishop, thanks again. Mike Knapps in the house. Laura Neela, hello. Thanks for being here. Who else is here? We have Moonbirds in the house. Come on. Let's slam the like button. Moonbird, I love you, my friend. Thank you very much. Again, Bev is from Pennsylvania. Bev, thanks a lot, Jansen, for taking the time to check out the channel. I hope you do take the time, if you have time this weekend, to check out a couple of uh, UFO videos. Skip over the music video. Very rare you'll see music videos here. But I felt like sharing... A song that uh, I actually liked, and my mother likes that song. I'll be, I'll be honest with you, that's why I shared it. But um, yeah. Good morning, good afternoon, Moon Family. Thank you, Dana Shriver. Tom Hack, Tom Tra <laughs> Tracker. Hello. Anything that has to do with Acker. I just, I, I'm, I, I'm always being hacked. So when I see Acker, I said, oh, I see Hacker. <laughs> Thank you, Tom Tracker. Cindy Lou, who's in the house. Hello to you, Cindy. Cindy was the first to know about the radio interview. I think I told her a couple hours before I even got the, uh, 
the positive confirmation is couldn't wait to tell someone what was going on. The interview is in French, and that's not going to be a problem because once the interview is done, I will ask Carol if there's a way I can share it, and um, I will do the subtitles over top of the video. So all the questions that she's going to ask me, anything that she's going to say, I'll uh, I'll do the subtitles. Maybe I'll get a girl to do the the, the Carol's part, and I gotta I'll do the guy part. <laughs> Because I really want to share it with you all. And I'm sure, I know some of you already were telling me you were disappointed that, uh, you know, it was going to be in French. But I know you're still all happy for me. In reality, um, it's going to get, um, it's going to permit me to have a chance to talk. You know, people, I, I've been shooting my mouth off that, um, no, but in a way, yeah, that the, there are aliens up on the moon or, or entities. You know, I, I never confirmed they were aliens. Humans, aliens, entities, drones, whoever, whatever, robots. But by me actually presenting it to people and on the radio and people in Quebec and more and more, I'm sure I get a lot more support. It's straight up simple research. It's a lucky chance to have uh, zoomed up a strong magnification on the surface by slowing things down and adjusting the exposure to be able to see if there's any movement on the surface. And there is. There definitely is. Uh, flashes, explosions. And then you wonder because NASA always says, well, there are explosions and flashes on the moon. It happens a lot. Why? Why does it happen a lot? You know what else bothers me? Hold on. Go down to be sure I'm seeing everyone. What's up, Ed's world? Thanks, you guys. Laura Neela again is in the house. Every time I see the SOS sign, I get sting stuck in my head. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, don't get sting in my head. I love that group, man. I haven't played some of their tunes in a while. Sting. They really did sting, didn't they? Actually, I'm freaked out. It's been like, since I've been doing this research, I've stopped listening to music. I've stopped listening to radios. And I stopped listening to the news. I listen to controversial channels. And I play my own music now, so... And I work for myself, so no big salary, but it doesn't matter. It should be a lot higher. I should be getting a lot more views, but the interest is always there. It's always the same people that come back proving that I have an actual real online family. So how cool is that? Be nice of others to join, like our friend from Pennsylvania just joined in today, and that's cool. I landed my uh, speed wing on a frozen lake, and it started cracking as I walked, oh man, won't be long till the real heat hits. Probs uh, 40 plus this summer. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. You bet. The weather's changing, man. That's that's really what's what's going on. The weather is uh, is really changing. Things are getting crazy. Pacification. Hello from Norway. Hello, Norway. Thanks for stopping by. They told us already. Yes, they did. You know, Ed's world, exactly. They already told us what was going on. And I'm actually curious that when we get to June to see what's... Someone's going to be like, well, when's the meeting? When's the meeting about the UFOs? And there just might not be any. Marcia Claire, Marcia Claire, thank you for asking. Um, a couple of months ago, a, week, a couple of months ago, uh, a bunch of stuff happened. Briefly, Hayim Ashed. Uh, defense minister from another country mentioned uh, Iran and mentioned that um, inside of Mars there were American astronauts working in Mars, and I don't think they were necessarily alien either. So he and he and Michelle talked a lot about that. But aside from that, that's that's not what's going on in June. In June. The Pentagon has uh, a time limit to uh, tell us about past uh, projects, secret projects, uh, UFO sightings, recent UFO sightings. So they were given a limit um, in June 2021 to come up with, they're going to have to come up with their whatever, their, what do you want to call it, uh, thesis, uh, uh, a fake story they're going to make up to try to get around certain things that are real. But it doesn't matter because we still have to listen 
to some of the things, that, to everything that they're going to say so that we can detect a lie. I believe we're that smart that we can do it, right? So, um, Miss Claire, they're waiting. The Pentagon has to disclose about UFOs. It's a big thing for all UFO channels as we're all waiting for them to mention something about UFOs. So uh, you have to wonder what they're going to talk about. Are they going to talk about President Kennedy? Are they going to talk about Eisenhower? Are they going to talk about his secret committee that passed off, said by the FBI that it was a hoax, Majestic 12, a committee to go retrieve an extraterrestrial vessel that crashed on Earth. So all these stories could be part of what's going to pop up in June or not. Maybe the Vatican is going to say that he saw a God coming down on his chariot. Like, I don't know what they're going to say, right? What do you want them to say? But it's not normal that the Vatican would have a, the strongest telescope in infrared. Makes no sense. And it would make no sense that Arecibo telescope, the most sensitive telescope in the world, would be taken down either. And don't forget, that's in Puerto Rico. Arecibo, do you remember how it was taken down? It crashed. It broke. Big uh, platform went down and crashed. And it, hang on. A couple of days after that, they had to dismantle it because they said it was dangerous. The day before they, they were supposed to dismantle it, in the night, the platform, a thousand some pounds, crashed down through the center of the telescope and absolutely destroyed it. So at the same time, I was hearing all this new talk and technology about DEW satellites, which are direct energy weapon satellites. And you go, hmm, there's a lot going on. All the spy satellites that all the countries sent up just last year, the States, uh, India, uh, lots of countries were sending up, almost broke my finger, lots of countries were sending up uh, spy satellites. Why? After the spy satellites went up, all of a sudden, boom, this gigantic explosion at a pier, right, at, at, a, at a boat thing in Afghanistan that made a crater uh, the size of 15 towns in the ground. But you see, it's all at the same time that this stuff is coming out. They're talking about direct energy weapons. They're sending up thousands of satellites up into space, one over the other. If you all think that those thousands of satellites are for your cable, you're wrong. You're definitely wrong. It has nothing to do with cable. Trust me. Maybe one of them has to do with cable. Then they say they're going to bring them lower to the surface, lower and lower earth to be closer to get a better signal. Yeah, bull crap. There's lots. If you look at what happens in the past, that's how you become one hell of a good researcher. Like that's how AJ came up with all the information he's finding by following, uh, uh, rereading what people say in live at live events. And everyone does it. Politicians say something on a Saturday and on the Saturday after that, they've changed their minds. They've come up with other things. So Marcia Claire, we have some exciting uh, news possibly coming up for June. And uh, it's time, really good time now for people to be watching UFO channels because it's so interesting. Uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm hoping they're going to talk about the moon. Zone parallel. Hey, je te point en live. Salut. And there's Carol. Guys, Zone Parallel is right there. And this, uh, Merci, Carol. And Carol Lazé is going to be interviewing me. And I think she'll be interviewing some other people too. She has a bunch of other shows. She does investigative journalism and reporting. And uh, merci beaucoup, Carol, d'être ici. Je suis en train de parler à toute ma communauté pour leur expliquer comment ça va être, euh, ça va être super de voir l'entrevue demain, même si c'est en français, parce que j'ai beaucoup d'anglais ici. Mais sur la chaîne en français, eux autres vont être super contents, vont pouvoir l'écouter demain. Et justement, je ne fais même pas d'en de, direct demain sur ma chaîne. Je vais faire mon, mon direct avec toi. Euh, zone parallèle. So, euh, merci encore euh, aussi, euh, Carole, pour euh, nous avoir tous donné la chance, euh, les rechercheurs, de, de, de parler de nos recherches. En même temps, ça va être super intéressant, je suis sûr. What a beautiful surprise. Hope all is well, my friend. Uh, Clyde Laws, yeah, I hope everything is going good, Clyde. How's it going, man? And uh, keep us posted, brother, on how things are going in your life, my man. We care, man. I do care. Anyways, I'm I'm curious as to know what, what's going to go on with uh, 
you know, all the changes in your life and let us know if, you, if things are getting better and how you're feeling. Martin and Heidi, 13, 13, 13. Hello from Netherlands, everyone. Thank you very much. Thanks, Martin and Heidi. Welcome to the channel. I'm always excited when I get some new people coming over to the channel, always talking about exciting things. You know, UFOs really exist. And unfortunately, it's very easy to make UFO videos um, of lights, whether using uh, whether you're 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 um, bringing the exposure up, I'm not going to hide it on a video where a bug's going by and it looks like a UFO. And then if the bug's moving left and right, it doesn't look like a UFO. So some people will even slow down the videos to show a bug going by really slow. But I started learning how to be able to different, differentiate that. You could tell if an object is close to you or far away from you. Like when I catch an object, a UFO going over the moon, the UFO, there's one UFO I got this big. So it's not over the moon. It's that it's between Earth and the moon. The ones that I'm getting on the surface of the moon that are this big under the hazes are on the moon. But it's so easy to manipulate uh, and make, you know, fake videos and stuff like that. I'm overwhelmed and surprised that the channel uh, has not flourished more than that. But do I have any regrets? Of course not. We have an amazing real community here. And... A lot of you told me that, you know, if you're posting real work, Bruce, you're not going to be shared. No one's going to share your work if you're exposing something. And it's true. That could be very well true. Ed's world said it. We are all the chosen one. We definitely are, man. Thank you very much. Well, Moonbird, thanks, man. And thanks for, thanks for appreciating it. Thanks for sharing your opinions. And it's greatly appreciated. Just got back from a uh, cancer dog. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Um, going to start six weeks on chemo and radiation in a couple days. Well, Clyde, do keep us posted on that and uh, let us know, man. I mean, when you want to talk to us and stuff like that. Uh, so we, we can, uh, you know, support you and uh, continue joking and uh, keep, keep a smile in your life, man. So uh, that's a good thing. If you're going to get through that, you're a strong guy. Kill that mother effing cancer and uh, get back up on your feet. But do keep us uh, do keep us posted, Clyde Laws, please. So Clyde found that out a couple days or a couple weeks ago, or he talked to us about it a couple of weeks ago, and um, I'm happy he did. You know, because that's something hidden that we all have our little uh, little problems with health and stuff like that at home. You know, I'm the only one that complains about my eye. Always letting you know how, but a lot of us have a lot of these problems and we just don't talk about it. Some of us are quiet and stuff, but I think it's healthy when people talk about it, especially, you know, Clyde, I, I want to help you get through that, my man, in any way we can, which you will. This is why I want you to let us know how you're getting through it. You're going to have to make a bang up video on that, man. Once you get through all this crap, brother. Hi, Bruce and everyone from New York City, thank you very much. Luz, thank you. I appreciate that. We have um, the Efrain Lewis. Thank you very much. The Efrain Lewis. Hi, Bruce. Desde Arica, Chile. Gracias. Bienvenidos. Bienvenido a mi canal de investigación. Gracias. Look at those videos. Muchas gracias. Gotta bring them squeezings. Yes. <laughs> Laura Neela, how's it going? Thanks for watching the channel always. Laura, I appreciate that. Dr. Pa Payas Patent from 216 to 18. Isn't it a lot older? Pay his patent. I, if it's the same one you're talking about, I thought the patent was in the 70s or 80s. That maybe they repatented it. <laughs> That'd be weird. Thanks, Darla. See the Biden mic? <laughs> Ed's world. Did you have the chance to see 
Did you have the chance to see um, Joe, Trader Joe, going up the, the steps of Air Force One when he got to the top and he saluted? He went up the stairs, uh, our little Joe. Didn't, didn't make it up. You know, I'll be honest with you, Ed, I posted it on social media somewhere, an image of Joe Biden in the stairs, lying down in the stairs, and I posted the fall of America with a question mark. <laughs> Joe Biden, for those of you that missed it, went up Air Force One, which is the helicopter. Uh, no, it's, 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 a, it's a, a floating hospital. But anyways, they're going to need it. Finally, they can put that hospital to use. Joe's in the plane. So Joe goes up the stairs and he falls down. Not once, not twice, three times. <laughs> One after the other going up the stairs. Fell once, fell twice, fell three times. And then he gets up to the stairs. He turns around, looks back at the people, and <laughs> then he gets out. He takes off at Air Force One. Oh, boy. So you got to wonder. I can't even say it. Rigged, everything rigged. It's just a matter of time. I don't even know. He's there as president, but he's not, right? Like everybody knows that. He can't be. Doesn't even have the nuclear codes. Pelosi has that in her living room or something at home, I guess. It's a new type of, of, of government that we could see forming itself in, in the United States here. Sky Peterson, how's it going, my dear friend? Good morning, all from Kodiak, Alaska. That's another beautiful. I, I'd love to go there, boy. I'd love just to travel to these places to to study um, study the the climate, the the difference in the weather and stuff like that, and to look for bases in Alaska. There must be a shitload of bases under the ice in Alaska, so they would all be melting, right? And this is probably why the aliens are going to have to change their bases, right? They're going to have to make other bases on the moon now, maybe because the moon's going to start being cold once again. I imagine that the weather is distributed between the earth and the moon. I've always said it. They could have a similar um, atmosphere, right? John Lear, hate mentioning him, but he did say it way back, way before I had even uh, done any, any research. They were saying there was an atmosphere up on the moon. Uh, he, he, well, not him, but necessarily an astronaut had said that, uh, a saffron sky. They could see the colors. Uh, some astronauts said that there were... Um, clouds in the morning um with the sun rising up on the sun so you know i'm gonna ask you guys a question they tell us that the moon and earth are locked in synchronous rotation and that's actually the term the proper term it's called synchronous rotation if i'm not mistaken because they say that we're simultaneously turning with the moon but I have a little problem with one thing. Um, the moon takes 27 days, 0.322, basically 27 days, between 27 and 29 for the trolls that want to get all the numbers that they see on YouTube or on the internet. 29 days, but we're talking about, um, in general, 27 and a half days for it to do a rotation on its axis meaning for the moon to do a complete rotation and go through um, its phase. It takes the moon that amount of time, 27 days. So we have a problem. Earth, how long does it take for Earth to rotate around on its axis? So they say, give or take 23 days, right? 20, 20, uh, so... so <laughs> 23 hours, not days. Trolls will love that one. So yeah, absolutely. 27 uh, days for the moon to turn around once and 23 hours in general for Earth to turn around once. Yet they're locked in synchronous rotation. So it doesn't make any sense. And I'm seeing people telling me, Bruce, the moon doesn't rotate. And I have full respect for that but we all know that nasa and scientists told us that it does rotate it's just that it's simultaneously in synchronicity with earth so they say it doesn't mean it's real it doesn't mean it's true somebody told me the damn moon is is sitting there it's not moving i would believe that 
Why? Because while we're looking with our eyes, and when you look at the moon with your eyes, you're really just seeing um, the moon not moving. So the moon, aside from what we see moving, is where the term, I believe, that I I didn't bring this up. I heard many of you come to my channel a year ago and say, Bruce, have you ever seen the moon cartwheeling? It's not a term I made up. It's a term I heard somebody say, and I'm like, no. But more and more that I, I understand it better, what they mean. That Yes, they were right. The, the moon is cartwheeling because it's going, it's rocking from right to left. On top of the moon, the moon sways away from Earth and it sways to Earth. It sways away and it sways to Earth. So it does go further at, at, at its perigee and, and closer at its apogee. There's an apogee and a perigee. So it is sort of, you know, so, but, but they say locked in place and, and you have all this movement, right? It, it's concerning. Dennis the Menace. Thanks, man. Humans fight over toilet paper shortages at Walmart. How can the elite tell the public about life in our solar system? Damn, that's right, man. Could you imagine people running around with their hair on fire? We can't handle the truth. It's very true. <clears throat> man, thanks for the generous contributions, brother. And, and for the support, man. Dennis Amenis, you're absolutely right about that. Humans fight over toilet paper shortages. How the hell are we going to get along in space? Again, how is it that China is not stooling uh, the state saying, no, he no go. They don't go to the moon. No, that's nothing. It's they don't you don't hear anything of that because they're they're together in this secret group where of, of elite rulers, whatever, right? Jinping, Jinping, bing, bing. That's a little screwed up. Communist country. That's that's the thing. People of China are great people. The ones running it, the communists. Duh. Everybody knows that. What, what? How come when I say it though, my heart palpitates a little bit and I get hot cheeks because I have to shut up. So it makes you not say the truth. So a lot of good people know exactly what's going on. And it's some of the people that aren't even mentioning it at all. I'm sure of it. Such interesting topics when we talk about the moon. It's so interesting. And it, it's, it's, you get mixed up when you start researching the moon uh, on the internet and then when you start filming it. Because things don't make sense. A lot of things I was able to not believe because you just don't see... Uh, everything that they speak about in space. I was happy to confirm that it was real, the nebulae and everything. When I got my own, I've shown them here, beautiful Orion nebulae that I captured three, four years ago, um, an incredible close-up of it. So I said, well, nebulae really exist. Uh, UFOs exist. And that's, that's how I started doing it. It's that I had so many ghosts, you know, or entity encounters here, spiritual encounters, uh, levitating objects, uh, things, uh, shaking mirrors, uh, swing on the wall, uh, smokes. Um, I I've seen one day in my, in my own home, um, a smoke smoke filled room with, with not because I was smoking, there was nothing being smoked there, just something traveling across the moon in a, in a mist or smoke. So all my life, it was, it was like pretty obvious that there was something on the other side. When my dad died, I had a connection to the other side. Some portal was opened up, which it still is. And I, I'm blessed now because of it. I feel that that's why maybe that I get, um, you know, a lot of premonitions, a lot of intuition from the other side. But then when I started doing the alien research, I said, holy crap, could everything that I experienced when I was young be actually alien? I had never thought of it. I mean, it's ghosts. Okay, one, yes, I'm into ghosts. I'm not going to hide it. I like creepy things. I like mysterious uh, things, unknown things. Uh, you know, uh, I've always been into, I'm sort of like uh, a modern day Vincent Price. I like creepy stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. But the reason why I'm interested in these creepy things, it's that nobody knows anything about them. And the ones r running this world are, are people that are into these secret societies. They, they worship uh, uh, demons and stuff like that. And nobody knows about it. And the ones talking about it were taken off of YouTube. AJ was taken off. Everyone was taken off. And the more you talk about it, the more you uh, repeat what they, those people were saying, they're just taken off the, ra uh, the ra radio waves. I'm thinking of the radio. 
taken off the internet, right? But there's a lot of stuff that goes on in in uh, in different towns. Uh, why does it stay in a town? How come when there, where, when there's a phenomena or a spiritual phenomena or, or alien phenomena or something happens in a certain town, why doesn't it get to uh, anyone further than the supposed men in black? Come on there. I'm sure they got red shirts and green shirts too, right? If they say they're men in black, they're probably not men in black. Aliens have big heads. Maybe they have tiny heads, right? I like uh, remaining open-minded about, about both of the theories of anything that can exist. I've never thought so much about all of this uh, as till now when they started um, talking about the Pentagon going to have to disclose. My excitement started a while back. Water on the moon? Oh, my God. Incredible. I was so excited because I've been saying that since 2016. If you go back to the 2016 video, I'm talking about vapor. I... I I didn't know. I'm not a scientist. So I looked up how vapor interacts. You know, I'm here in Quebec. Uh, I've seen a lot of rivers do a lot of crazy phenomena, a lot of ice spectacle phenomena that happen here. Uh, and you know what I mean, eh? I'm sure some of you don't. There's a lot of phenomena that occur here. And each year with the change of the climate, there are new phenomena that occur. And if you're in tune with nature and you're and, and you uh, are really connected to nature, everything that they're going to talk about in the news, you'll see it years and months ahead of time, all the time. That's how it is. Here, the recent phenomena with the snow uh, last year, actually, was uh, big, 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 giant snowballs that were being made in the center of fields. They were rolled up. So th that happens on windy days. I don't know if you've seen I've seen them here before. It's absolutely incredible. And on a windy day, the heavy snow uh, uh, and the ice crystals all um, freeze together and it pushes the snow and it rolls it and it's like it looks like a big bale of hay. So those didn't occur years ago. What I'm trying to say is that the weather is changing and it's going to cause a lot of different phenomena. Um, never had so many problems with my roof. My roof is destroyed. Okay. It's the part of it's hanging off of it. Be happy in life. Just be happy. I'm still warm. But I'll fix it this year. But I'll be honest with you, the ice, the way it sets on a roof now is not like it used to before. The ice comes very, very heavy. And then the next day, there's a massive descent in the temperature. And all that snow, instead of melting or sliding off the roof, it freezes. It becomes heavy. So a lot of people are seeing all these different phenomena, phenomenons occurring because of, of the weather. That's why I'm always talking about the sun. You, There will be nothing else in the news, folks. I'm telling you, they're going to be talking about the sun because of all the objects that are going to come into the solar system. Uh, the, the sun is, is, is going to be active. Uh, geomagnetic storms, uh, corona mass ejections and stuff. We're going to see a whole bunch of that. So how is that going to change the objects in lower Earth, or, uh, lower Earth orbit? Um, the asteroid 2012 D14 is also one that's in lower Earth orbit that is probably only going to be seen now. They didn't see that one last year. They didn't see it in 213. I don't remember that. 214, 215, I don't remember ever coming by. How come they're, they're going to talk about it now if it's already in lower Earth orbit? It's ridiculous when you think of it. Cindy Lou, who's in the house. Sky Peterson, thank you very much again. I'm going to scroll up here because I'm probably missing a whole bunch of people. Thanks again, Dennis the Menace. Bloodlines of Fire is in the house. It's titanium, but cloaked in a heavy matter hologram. Uh, damn, I like that one. Bloodlines of Fire, another guy that comes here often and uh, leaves me a lot of really cool comments. Um, it rings like a bell when it's hit. <laughs> yes, exactly. When they hit it. So <laughs> that's what they said. They said it rang for hours. It's ridiculous. What do you think of it, eh? CE5 circle, what do you feel about CE5 and remote viewing, Bruce? Hey, listen, that, that's a, a question I don't get that much, and it's a question I love. I love talking about it. Um, you know, I have a lot of premonitions, and I have great intuition about things that happen. Uh, they're life-changing to me, and I believe that there are remote viewers. I believe there are people that can predict uh, things. 
maybe predict close things. Um, but I know for a fact there are a lot of charlatans out there. There are a lot of people that, um, for example, decide, hey, that's what I want to be. I want to be uh, a person that, you know, tells, talks about premonitions and stuff. Because I believe when it comes to that, you, you got it or you don't, right? If you know something's coming and you share it, it depends how you share it. You know, if I was to share it in a book, Bruce's book of predictions, I'd probably get a lot of controversy around it. But when I just usually know stuff, I come on and I talk about dreams. When you hear me say I had a dream last night, I'll be honest with you, I lied. Finally, you caught Bruce and lie. Uh, Bruce doesn't dream very often. And sometimes when I talk about dreams, it's often talking about maybe a premonition or uh, some sort of intuition that I have on a certain event. I'll never say, that's going to happen. I'll say, hmm, what about if that happened? Or 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 what if it had to do with that? Like the, the de detention center I posted, that was a premonition. I posted the picture side by side. I did not linger on the detention center being a children's immigration de detention center. I didn't say where the detention center was, which was in Texas, probably southern border but it's still it's true you know it's it's the truth is there people that are awake are going to uh probably understand me a lot more uh, i find the more i wake up the less people understand me uh the more i find out what's going on um, i've never come out and told you exactly word for word what i believe is going to happen because a lot of you would hate me and stop probably stop following me because I have some premonitions and intuitions about certain things. I can, I can um, how can I say it? I have problems with energy when I'm around people, when people are around me, they're drained. Um, you know, digital equipment problems. With digital. Watch the interview tomorrow with Carol, hopefully there'll be no glitches or no audio problems or something like that. But I, I'm someone that's always had problems around digital objects and you can laugh all you want. If you know me, uh, you know, I'm telling the truth because you've seen me pop lights. You've seen me, uh, have problems. Family members have seen me, uh, especially basically just the family members. Uh, my brother has seen me pop a light. Uh, at one point when I was quite simply talking to him about energy, uh, to explain how energy is strong and um, that you, you, you're not a magician. You, you don't make energy, you know, well, yes, at the end of the fingers actually, but you're not like a Merlin. You can't just zap people and kill them and hurt them and stuff. But I believe all of us have an energy inside of us. I believe that energy has to do a lot with the soul. I believe that energy has to do. And now I'm talking from my heart. And that's why I don't stay stuck on legends, myths. I'm interested in them. Um, I have a remote viewing book here myself that I've skimmed through many a times because I'm looking for comparisons and stuff. But uh, is it possible to develop that intuition? I believe so. I believe we all have uh, an intuition, you know, inside of us, but not everyone's one interested in using it. Do you understand that the system is designed so that you do not come to your full potential? I've that I've understood that 100%. The system is so that you you'll be preoccupied on, you know, uh, some people buy jewelry every day because they have money. Some people buy, uh, you know, skulls, knickknacks, paintings. Some people buy cabbage patch kids. You spend all your, your money and time on these things that you like and you don't really come to know knowing exactly who you are yourself inside me. It was an awakening I'm trying to do. I, I woke up three times and the third awakening was overwhelming for me. Um, I cried like a baby. Uh, I was happy tears in my eyes because I was given a chance to, to see the other side and, and you know, to, to interact with people uh, in the spirit world. Not everybody gets that chance. So for me, I'm honored. And, and that's how I see it. A lot of people be like, come on, Bruce. And you know it. I don't linger on it. And I don't tell people I am 
predictive and that I predict things. And, uh, but yeah, I have had messages and, uh, it's a guy that is helping me do my research, helping me, uh, come up with uh, different theories is, is how I feel. I don't believe that those theories can come from my stupid mind. That's, that's why I believe I'm being guide, guided. So favor, can you check your like button? I think they might be broken. Let me know if it is. What a sweetheart. Thank you, Dana Shiver. Well, yes. Okay, then everybody check to see if the like button works or not. Might get a few trolls that do the opposite, Dana, but do we have any dislikes yet? Not yet. Oh, what the hell? That can't be. 87 likes <laughs> and 87 listening. I have a, an amazing community, and I always appreciate you all coming back. And I'll be honest with you. Let's be honest. I think the reason why I'm still up is because it's only us here. 72, just saw you. Um, Teresa, be kind. Hello, California. IA. Thanks a lot, Teresa, be kind. Hope the family are well. A lot of problems, people I'm not seeing. Trolls are having a ball with the channel. Those of you who think channels cannot be hacked and that you think that trolls can't come and steal your, your, your revenue with your AdSense and stuff, I got a lot of things going on in my life. Uh, everything going down continually. Everything's always spiraling downwards. The more, the more, uh, the better the videos are getting, the less people are coming to the channel. So it's just impossible when you think of it, but it's not, it makes total sense. Uh, people like Ed's world. And, uh, I know it when I go to someone's channel and they have nobody there. And when I mean nobody, I mean F all nobody, no comments, no likes, no dislikes. Those people are ghosts online and YouTube permits them still to be there, but they're just like ghosts. Biggest mistake I ever did, everybody, was not to get Bruce Cizal channel. Uh, like when I was taken down, a lot of you don't know, I was taken down for four and a half to five months. They said I was committing fraud online. That message stayed up online on my YouTube channel. Bruce is doing bad stuff on YouTube. And then they give me back the channel and said it was a mistake. So that was their goal to destroy my, my image, which YouTube illegally does that. YouTube has power over everyone. Guidelines, my ass. Okay. If you believe the guidelines, uh, the guidelines should make the platform work, right? Oh, but hang on. The constitutional act is not making uh, the US work, the system. Hmm. Uh, that, that's the problem, right? Article one, section eight, equality. Act in the states. Look that up. Look up what the Cruz was speaking about. That uh, people in the states are all for the Equality Act, and it's going to abolish women's sports. Did you know that? This is confirmed. Um, a, a professional spoke with Ted Cruz uh, on his last meeting or whatever he was talking about. People don't know about what's going on behind the you know the new world order. You hear everyone, even my my. Family members when I was way younger. It sounds good. A new world order. Yes, to to make things new and better. And yeah, right. Equality Act. We're going to abolish women's sports. And that's equality. Imagine. <laughs> it makes no sense. And I know a lot of you from the States here right now are going to say he's full of shit. I'm going to go look it up. There's no way in hell that Biden sent, signed an executive order to abolish women's sports. And he actually did. And I confirm it to you. You know, did you guys see him falling down the stairs this morning? That was crazy. Cindy Lou, who's in the house, I'm in on one of these. Cindy Lou, I'm in one of those moods. Oh, it's a good one, I hope. That happens to me. I was on a high a couple days ago. I was on a real high, real great mood. Bruce, tu devais trouver un truc pour égayer la pièce car on va te prendre pour un goût. <laughs> oui, Thomas, c'est vrai, hein? Ah, ben oui. Puis, faut pas, faut pas que personne pense que Bruce est le choisi, hein? Ou bien que Bruce soit un prophète, ou quelqu'un écrit un bricot, ben, sa, sa robe va friper, man. <laughs> Il va y avoir des petites fripettes au bout de sa robe. Il vient tellement chaud, des, des fois, bricot avec son, ses joues, là, que, que tu vois, là, qu'il est tout trempe pendant tout son chandail, je suis sûr. Hey, Thomas! Euh, J'ai eu la chance euh, d'avoir une entrevue avec une, une, une demoiselle exceptionnelle qui travaille en ufologie en plus, qui a fait des enquêtes en ufologie. 
sur euh, la radio FM. Ça, ça va faire briser le cœur à Brico. Il va être tellement triste. Hello and thanks and well for the welcome. My pleasure, Arthur Cock. I saw you. I saw you. I always miss a whole bunch of people, but I saw you this time. Thanks a lot, you guys. Thanks each and every one of you. My, our pleasure, Clyde Laws. We love you, man. And uh, you've been so supportive to my channel, man, to Cindy's channel and a lot of other channels I'm sure that I don't even know. So more than happy to have you around, man. And some people don't like hearing about people's troubles. And listen, trouble is trouble. When you're family, you got to love the person with the troubles. That's, what, that's how I see it. Family's family. Somebody has a problem in the family, you got to love that problem. That's how it is. Thanks, CE5 Circle, for asking that. I appreciate it. Um, Jean-Claude, Beyond Mystic 2 channel, going to have an interview with him on March 25th. Uh, CE5 Circle, you have to check him out if, if you don't already know him. He is very spiritual. He talks a lot about spirituality. He had Janine uh, the other day, uh, uh, a person uh, uh, of, of uh, um, I got the French word, Voyant. But anyways, wow, Bruce is losing his English. Just, you know, uh, like, geez, I'm not trying to say fortune teller. What's the word I'm looking for? Anyways, a bunch of people that uh, read cards, card reading too, tower reading. That was a bit interesting. I was a bit scared to to go on his channel because of that, because, you know, the tower reading and stuff. But it's, it's going to be interesting having people that are into the cards and the tower and stuff to see what they read in the cards maybe he'll do a card reading to see about what i'm saying or about the research i just it's gonna be cool it's gonna be really really cool uh again tomorrow's interview uh between 12 and 2 i think it is i have to double check on uh cjmd 96.9 in levy any of you that are in quebec or outside of that area can still listen to it whether you are in that region If you can't listen to me on the radio, go to the CJMD Levy website. Quite simply, they have podcasts. There's a way you can join. There's a phone number. There's a contact to contact them if you hate me. Uh, and, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff that people can do. And uh, any radio station in the world, I want you all to know that no matter what town that you want to listen to, You have access to listening to a radio station in someone else's town if you go online. I don't know about you in the States, but here it is. Shom. Shom FM is where I'm aiming for. And around here, anyone in the Montreal region or in, in parts of Montreal and surrounding areas know that Shom FM, C-H-O-M 97.7, is where I have to be on. But if you want to look at that station, Shom, C-H-O-M, Shom, 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 97.7. And you could uh, listen to the music and, and listen live like you were in Montreal. Because a lot of people don't know that. So when you want to go see the interview and you say, well, I'm not in Quebec, I can't listen to it on the radio, it, they're going to post it for other people on a podcast or however they're going to do it so that you all can see, um, you know, see about it. It's I'm going to be pretty excited and pretty, uh, probably pretty nervous. It's going to be fun, but um, it's going to be interesting at the same time. I don't know, Carol. You never know what she's going to ask me. She could ask me anything. Oh, my God. What if she asked me how many times does Earth go around the sun? Oh, my God. What if I don't know that? <laughs> she could make me look real dumb real fast. Eh? I think it's going to be really interesting. Who's the to Uh Sako Tamo. I just found out that the sky is supposed to be clear uh, by dark tonight. I'm so happy. Be looking, Cindy. And like I said, I don't think we're going to be able to see that asteroid, they say. But uh, I, I don't always believe it. It's worth looking. It doesn't mean you're not going to see anything. If there's an asteroid going by in lower Earth, maybe we're going to see some UFO activity. I'm all charged up, like really all charged up. Both cameras are going to be outside. Um What's really long is being outside waiting uh, for the lights. But I'll be honest with you, the nights that I spend outside, I see them. If I set up my camera outside and I come in here and just let my camera do the work, sometimes I don't see anything. 
maybe, I don't know, whether I'm outside or not is, is the difference uh, on whether they're attracted or not. So, got weird stuff flying around here in my house. Can't be dust, can it? <laughs> At a nice... Yeah, I'm going to save the voice. It's at 2 o'clock. I should be thinking of getting off, too, because I have another live stream tonight. Uh, are you all sick of seeing the music video up? Don't worry. I'm getting a nice video up. Disappointed on the French channel. I made a 16, over 16-minute 16 video. Uh, my closest new findings, and I got a 1,000 views on it. It's the biggest, biggest freaking insult for a creator to have like a thousand views on something that revealing, but it goes to show <laughs> that they're probably hiding me remote viewing and by location. Yes. Thanks. Bloodlines of fire. I have a lot of respect for the people that do it. And I would not consider myself a remote viewer because I've had a chance to, yeah, literally remote view and, and, and it worked. But would I say that, I'm going to remote view for you all one night while I'm outside and tell you exactly what's up there. I'm afraid that my credibility would be lost and I wouldn't dare tell anyone that I'm certain on any given situation. People come here and tell me, Bruce, it's not UFOs that you're capturing. You're capturing drones. And I have the utmost respect for that. Whether it be drones or UFOs, uh, if you don't know it's a drone, it's a UFO. UFOs are quite simply unidentified flying objects. So if I whip this pen across the project and I get down to the third house down there and somebody sees it whiz by their face, it's an unidentified flying object. It's that simple. So uh, unidentified flying objects, there's a lot of asteroids that passed off for uh, UFOs, most likely, definitely, for sure. I have a feeling about tonight, Cindy. I, I have a good feeling actually about tonight, thinking maybe we're going to get some good stuff. I think. I feel it. Pam Benedict, hello. Thank you. Again, those arriving to the channel that I'm not talking to you or answering you, it's because you are not on my page, whether you believe me or not. Sorry. That's how it is. AKA Texas, Texan. Rattlesnake, thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Hello to you. Thanks for being here. So often you see me scrolling up and down to try to get to everyone properly. Always greatly appreciated the ongoing support of you all. I hope to see you at the live stream tonight. Burn MC3, how's it going? Martin, so how does it rise? So how does it rise and set? Very slowly. When it rises, it's going up. And when it sets, it's going down. They take the consideration as to when the world takes a turn, makes a turn as the world turns. It's where the sun leaves one point and comes back to that same point. That's a day when it's around earth. That's what they say when it's around earth. But as for the sun, um, look, look at the way it rises, right? It rises and sets in the East and in general, but it's going all over the sky. It's moving, it's moving left. It's moving right. A lot of bull crap. They tell us about the moon. I'll be honest with you. I think a lot of bull crap they tell everyone about the moon. Need to input new card details as it won't do Apple Pay. Ah, that happens. That happens. Patagonia Pampa. Hello. Hello, hello, my faraway friend. Thanks, Patagonia. Gracias. Cameron Burge. Dude, just try your eyes. Dude, just trust your eyes and stay away from those rabbit holes. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's that's what I mean. That's that's a good, uh, very good way of saying it. Rabbit holes. Don't look down a rabbit hole if you don't know what's down there. You're going to be sucked in and you're going to wind up in the bottom of the freaking hole. That's how I see it. I like um, uh, all the theories. People say, Bruce, how many uh, types of aliens do you think there are? I have no idea. We don't even know if there are any. Right? We don't even know if it's all, you know, I'm just going to bring one thing up. If you bring in human manipulation, DNA manipulation, it changes everything. 
They're sitting there calling someone an alien when it could be a human with its DNA manipulated or changed. Uh, do you all know that uh, here on Earth, we make humans? It's going to come out in a couple of days. AJ's been talking about it. He's way ahead of his league. And the information always often comes out a year later or something. Um, biological humans, they're making humans uh, here on Earth and uh, they're testing them. And you know why they are permitting themselves to do that? Because they don't have souls. So they can do what they want with their bodies. If that doesn't scare you, it should. One guy last week asked me, if clones existed, they would have cloned a rabbit a long time ago. My dad died a long time ago in the 80s. And before my father died, the Germans had cloned a rabbit. Nobody knows it. Why? The information's there. It's because we have to go look for the information. It's not on a post where people say, hey, check this out. You got to read through information and everything's there. They cloned the rabbit successfully at the beginning of 1980, if I'm not mistaken. And that's when they talked about it. So maybe they cloned it in 70. So with that said, for me, I believe all the way back, they were cloning them way back. Definitely cloning them all the way back. I meditate to make contact with some success. Check my channel if you get time. CE5 is human initiated contact thank you very much ce5 yeah ce5 i need i need a lot of people to come to this channel and check out the channel it's it's not working it's not working at all people are not coming to the channel and uh it disgusts me that youtube has uh access over that well you know what i'm very i'm highly insulted that uh, that we know now that the ones that own youtube are extremely racist people Sadly, that's what I'm finding out. And uh, yeah, they, what do you think of that? Someone at YouTube in another country that's uh, permitting you to write things or not. It doesn't make any sense that they could have uh, that power over us. So then somebody says, well, screw them, F them. I'm going to make my own bloody platform for free and do it. You can't because the monopoly is bought. Facebook bought over at Zuckerberg, Zuckerman, eh? Zuckerberg and Zuckerman. I, you know, I always say Zuckerberg and Zuckerman because that's the CNN owner, the founder of CNN and Facebook. Two Zuckers. Zucker, Zucker, Zucker. Facebook. I don't think Facebook's going to be around in 360 days for sure. If it is, it's going to be really different. We got a whole bunch of stuff going on in the world that people don't know about. We have a Catholic priest that's in jail because he opened a church. Hey, listen, close your bloody church. I got nothing against that because you got to follow the law. But you're going to put a priest in jail for three months because he had a sermon? That's fucked up. <laughs> that's screwed up. Definitely screwed up. Laws have changed. For whatever the reason why the laws have changed, who knows? At the same time of all this shit was going on, I had police coming to my door, knocking on my door. Hi, what's your name? If, have you ever had a police officer go to your bloody door and ask you what the hell your name was? Why? My name's Bruce. Why? Okay, uh, that's your car, eh? Yeah, that's my car. Why? Okay. Didn't, have, didn't tell me nothing. I asked them why they wanted to know who I was. Oh, well, we had some trouble in Ontario in the, in the province beside Quebec where uh, police officers from Ontario called in. So I had Ace of Space, biggest prick I've ever met on YouTube, biggest jealous person. I, well, he's second with uh, Officiel Ricolateur, la chaîne qui recalde. But in reality, he cried and cried and cried because I posted moon videos um, he actually called the police, uh, in my province. So who the hell are these jackasses? You got to wonder who they are to have access to, you know, reaching my home in this way. You got to wonder what the hell's going on. And for all of you out there that think that Bruce doesn't get trolled and he's just a big ass liar because he wants to attract people to his channel. No, I'm sorry. I I'm really being attacked. Uh, family's been threatened. 
but it's just at one point, just like my family right now, they don't give a shite. Be honest with you, big words, no action, right? You all know that I'm at one Chalmers now. Where the hell are you all? Stop by. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> but that was the biggest goal. Expose where Bruce is. And that way, he's going to flip out. He's going to have people at his house. He's going to uh, receive letters. Uh, somebody told me they're sending me a blow-up doll. I can't wait to get it. I'll show you on the video if I get it. Uh, you know, I see it as um, a positive thing that if people are attacking me like that. It's because I'm showing uh, the real thing. So I think it's all good. It's all definitely good. And... I know you trolls got really upset when you exposed my address and I laughed and I posted it in a video. <laughs> you can't win. There's nothing else you can expose. The only thing you could expose is, is my ass on an image. You'd have to, I mean, if it gets to that point, I'll be closing my blinds. Pam Benedict, isn't an asteroid supposed to fly by tonight in clear skies? Yep, that's what I said in my video yesterday. Um, oh, no, it wasn't on this channel, actually. Um, but yeah, I did say it in the community yesterday. I, I posted it about it. It's 45, um, fly by tonight in clear skies to be seen by the naked eye and even better with a telescope. Well, for me on my side, they're saying that I'm not going to be seeing it. They said that I'm going to see, uh, uh nothing. Uh, Australia should see it, uh, more in Europe, I believe. Um, Africa should see it. Africa should see it. Uh, where else? I think that's about it. But again, don't, the, my pleasure, aka Texan rattle, Rattlesnake, but uh, don't take my word for it. I would still be looking outside. I'm going to do it myself too. The minute um, darkness comes, I'll be outside. And uh, hopefully, I will definitely be able to see something. But that's how it is. Uh, there's no rush about it. If I was to go out and capture something every night, then probably people wouldn't think it was fake. I was capturing so many UFOs uh, a couple of months ago that people were like, damn, what is he making them? Well, that, that's, how it, that's how it is. It's so many in the sky. That's how incredible it is. I have a video where I filmed 25 UFOs. You remember that one? 25 video, uh, is it 18 or 25 video, uh, 25 UFOs in a row without stopping uh, the video for eight minutes and 25 lights come from east, west, north, south, north, south, east, and west. Four sides, which makes no sense. There aren't satellites all over like, going around like that. And there's not that many either that should be uh, showing up. Look online. The trajectory of the com uh, of the, the satellites are all there. People keep telling me I'm seeing satellites over my house. Go look where they're going by, first of all. Okay. Satellites mostly go over water too. No one knows that either because nobody takes the time to go and look. Bruce, you encouraged me to go out and film the moon and the stars and the sky in general and to seek truth for myself. Always loved your research and footage, man. Total respect to you. Thanks, Craig. 1971. I appreciate it, man. I can't thank you enough, man, for everything, the support, the contributions, man, the help. I mean, I don't forget. You guys even got me the guitar that's how it was you know it uh, without an instrument in my home i'm depressed and when you guys had, had said here during christmas right a couple of bucks a good couple of bucks 150 bucks a, a lot of you cut that uh, came together to to send me lt gold 0072 was there i remember everyone who contributed and uh I'll be honest with you, I thank you because that's the only way I relax at night is, is by just playing a silly song or making a silly jingle. So you all like the troll song, eh? Well, guess what? There's a band that reached me. The guys want to make the song uh, into a song that's that's really rocking and bluesy or uh, whatever they want to do, and they're going to uh, make the song with the band, and they're going to let me let me hear the music. And so that I'll be able to share it with all with you guys. A couple of people like the troll song. Um, the troll song was uh, a nice jingle. Actually, I thought it was a pretty good jingle. I should have not put troll music in it. I should have made a real song, blue song, but uh, it's what I do every night here. When I'm here is I come up with these songs, these jingles and words and stuff. And often, very often about thousand songs. I just, I don't write, I don't write them down. They just fade out. 
So once in a while, I said, I may as well start writing some of them down. I have no accumulation of anything I ever sang or, or played music except for, you know, the silly uh, YouTube, uh, sorry, Facebook videos. But uh, so thank you, everyone, for taking the time to stop by the channel. I'll be back on tonight. What time are we at? Two? Uh, less than six hours. I'll be back on. And uh, this afternoon, if the video doesn't pop up before the other live stream, uh, know that I'm close to uh, ending it and, and posting it uh, up with you all. Um, that's what I'm going to do right now, the video for you all. I got a video up on my Patreon page for those patrons that are here, didn't get a chance to check it out. Go see the video I got up yesterday. I'm um, going to be working hard this summer to get a lot more videos up on Patreon and members, of course. But uh, without, you know, without being burnt out, I can't get enough of the work. And uh, there's just so much, so much to show. Moonbird. I, that's right. So you know a lot. No, it wasn't. It wasn't him at all that fell in the steps. Um, I believe that. There's another theory, <coughs> excuse me, that uh, maybe I'll bring it up tonight. Uh, talking about an automated world. How would it be if, and and would it be possible that an entire world, entire planet could be run by robots and computers and holographs, holograms, hologram, holographic images, right? When people talk like Biden uh, bad example. I'm going to use the shithead as an example. Somebody is talking up on stage of, of importance. Martin Luther King there. He's up talking on the stage. People are listening to him. I have a dream. People are listening to him. That's the capital. Oh, wow. And what was I talking about? Now I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, that's weird. Somebody's scanning my brain so I can forget what I was saying. Yes, there we go. <laughs> I got back to it. Phew. Imagine if somebody made a holographic image of at the Vatican, for example, the Pope, Francesco, you know, that old guy that likes the kids. Um, imagine him doing a, a speech through a holographic image. You see him through that little hole. He's such a you see him through that little hole, a window up where he is at the Vatican doing his sermon. Could they uh, make a holographic image? Yep. And they could test that holographic image on us by having an asteroid come into Earth's atmosphere, maybe whiz by Earth, and they'll say, oh, my God, there was a major Earth uh, quake. Then, you know, they make the Earth shake after that. They're playing God, and they've been playing God for a hell of a long time uh, here on Earth. So what we think is possible of what they're doing, they're far farther than that. They're a lot deeper than that. Hey, Clone Elio. What's up, Moonmaster? Have a great live chat, brother. Thanks a lot, man. I'll be on later on. I'm getting off right now. Go get maybe a little something to eat. I'm so small, I don't want to fade away. <laughs> little inside joke such cool people know, really they really are chloroform's good really 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 amazing people uh it warms my heart every time i come on and i love it so much you can't even you can't even understand and comprehend that trust me et's come in all forms ce5 circle i appreciate that so much i believe that different forms and shapes they can be seen differently felt differently and um, it all has to do with the wavelengths, right? Our eyes don't see from 700 and up, 700 nanometers to 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, even the lower frequencies below 4, uh, 400, 3, 2, 1, all these things that they're seeing. That's what they're doing with, with the infrared telescopes, right? They're, <coughs> excuse me, they're going to take a look at all the creatures and living organisms, big and small, that are floating around in space. Space looks just like there's so much floating around in it. It's like saying, take a glass and spit in your water and then stir it up and then look at things floating in it. That's what space looks like. It looks like a whole bunch of spit out stuff that's flying all over the place. You got, you know, 
people they talk about plasma they talk about uh, the heat distribution across the universe, how black holes emit heat or cold. Jeez, there's so much to learn. There's no way in hell that we're all going to know exactly what's going on. Even if we all started researching today and sharing everything we know, there's just so much somebody can learn in his life. And did you know that if you stick too much information in that little head of yours, some is going to leak out on the other side? Your brain will only hold so much information. That's something I tried to prove wrong when I was young. I ain't too bright. I proved that it's not true uh, for my end anyways. Uh, if you try to, I've been doing the research. I've been learning a lot about new fields in science for my first time. Imagine a guy not good in math at school has to study temperatures and, you know, climate change and chemistry stuff, which boy, my chemistry teacher told me I was, uh, a no, I was not going to be a scientist. Basically. I'm pretty sure one of my teachers told me that. Well, Bruce, you good music <laughs> in reality. There's a whole bunch of stuff that people don't know out there as simple as just taking the time to look with your eyes. The moon turns in 27 and a half days in general, earth turns in 23 hours. You're going to tell me that while Earth is spinning around every freaking day, we're going to see the moon stationary in place because we're synchronously moving? That's bullshit. That is bull crap. Someone last month told me the moon's not turning in rotation. I have so much respect for that because we don't see it turning. And even when you try, hey, static bat, plasma. Eh, that's a good one. I'm telling you. Plasma. A lot of people don't understand the plasma, though. A lot of people don't understand the plasma. Hi from Indiana. Great research, man. Mike Isaacs. Thanks, Mike. And thanks for the comments, bro. Also, the ongoing support. Thank you so much. Yeah, plasma. They say there is plasma around Earth. Did you know that? Plasma, basically the ionosphere around Earth is all plasma. And that's what um, gives uh, uh, creates drag to uh, people coming back from space or the supposed moon. Uh, it's what slows down asteroids when they come into Earth's atmosphere too. They'll probably blow up there. But uh, yeah, it'll once you go through the ionosphere, uh, any rocket or ship will have this large, large glowing light around it um, at the nose, which is fire. You're going to catch on fire. When you hit the ionosphere and you're coming into Earth's orbit, that's where, listen to all the old Apollo missions and stuff when they say they burned up and whatever. It's in the ionosphere, and that's, what, that's what's going on. But plasma, uh, you know, I talked about it. I think I talked about it last stream. Where do we see plasma? Well, the light I used to have up there, uh, the light that I used to show you all that says um, on air is plasma that, that's, that's held in, in, in a closed environment in reality, here out right in the open in the vacuum. Right. So we're not we're not in an open environment in reality. It's that where we are closed in, it's very wide. There's lots of room where we are. When you think, when you think of it. Bob Joyce is Elvis, who is an alien. Uh there's another one. Elvis, he could be on the moon, right? All depends on the money. I made lots of money. I went to the moon. <laughs> Living in Mayor Serenitatis. Where would where would they put him? Where would Elvis live on the moon? I wonder. Probably they probably gave him a pink Cadillac driving around along Eratosthenes Crater's edge. What kind of filter is best to view the sun, Bruce? Hey, man, I'm not going to give you any answer on that. I know for a fact that what I'm using here is uh, paper, right? Paper, well, it's, it's polarized paper, but hang on.
I didn't see it. I didn't find it. Uh, but I'm going to tell you this. Listen, I'm not going to hide it straight up. Here's a smaller Celestron telescope. Like, look at a couple of examples. Uh, here, for example, I use that paper inside, and I made myself a plastic filter, just like you see here, uh, to put at the end of ca uh, my camera. I change the lens onto, I put it on my P900. P900 is a pretty good one to look at the sun. But now here's the thing with this polarized, um, I think they have the strength there, most likely. Let's see, and I'll tell you 5.0 filter cell. That's a 5.0 film. Um, yeah. If you want to see the sun's um, fire lifting up off of the surface, I use this, but it's hard to, to see, um, to be able to see that fire lifting up. I'm looking at asteroids whizzing by. There's a particular lens, and my goodness, say it often. Um, I think Crow 777 had mentioned that at one point because there's a special filter that you can use that you will see a lot of. Uh, maybe I'm hallucinating on that one, but I thought I thought Crow had talked about that. Maybe it was someone else. It's easy to look. It's easy to look up though, because there's a particular filter where if you're close with the telescope and stuff, it's like you're on the sun, looking at the sun, right? But that filter, that filter, is hard. It's hard to. Uh, 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 adjust. It's hard to know which filter to buy that's exactly going to show you uh, the sun, like the details and stuff. But I get the one that that blocks out the least, of course. And I have a bunch of different filters. This is Crazy Penguin that had gotten that. And basically what I did is right here, this is how I view the sun. As you can see on the camera there with the lens and the extension is exactly how I view it. I've done it with uh, my Astro um, Master telescope also uh 70 uh, millimeter telescope was very 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 good getty lee thank you very much i know i you know it, it's not easy uh being devilishly handsome trust me not easy trolls let me know how handsome i am each day and they don't like me my roof leaks badly hey pam I hear you. And listen, try to patch it up your own way. Try to patch it up if you can your own way. Or wait till the winter gets over and then, you know, go up on the house. I saw someone go up on his house and put a metal plate on his roof and have all the neighbors laughing at him because he put the metal plate up on his roof. But you know what? All the neighbors around that amazing guy, a smart guy, by the way, um, all the neighbors around that guy had to change the roofs and it, it it's tr it's trends right if if your neighbor has a swimming pool right you're going to get one often and you're going to try to get one maybe bigger or deeper or you're going to try to one get one looking a bit better than your neighbor's uh pool but it's always the same thing that everybody has why does somebody patch a roof the way everybody patches a roof why can't you experiment yourself to see what's going to happen with your roof? It's a good thing I'm not working on my roof right now because I would, I could only imagine what I would do with my roof. For me, I would buy a big plastic mold and bolt it to my roof with uh, a very thick, hot glue and top that off with epoxy, and I'm sure my roof will be fine forever. will never leak. Oh, but it causes humidity inside of the house, Bruce. This is why we can't do that. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Nobody has the same way of patching roofs. Why am I talking about patching roofs? <laughs> Interdimensional beings, yes. Very interesting. Tesla knew what the electromagnetic relationship uh, meant. Everything for the physical world. It really did, Crawlface, and he really did. And I'm just seeing him now. Man, damn it. Uh, plasma is kind of going back. Is like going backwards from what some of our best thinkers and scientists already knew. Tesla. He said it, man. You know, he wanted to use Earth as a ground. Just ground ourselves off the Earth. 
in the center of the earth, put a, a metallic ball or sphere in the center. And just from that, we could uh, shoot with the earth. We could take images and pictures. We could probably, you know, hey, how cool would that be, Crawlface? A teleporting planet. Ever heard of that one? Planets that teleport themselves in solar systems. So when, when somebody sees an asteroid appear in the solar system, and says, where the hell did that come from? Maybe they're teleporting themselves into the solar system. Who knows? Brian Scott. How's it going, man? It's great look, but I'm sure we kind of knew all along. Pam, Benedict, thank you very much. Uh, it means a lot that you guys are enjoying what I'm talking about because honestly, if somebody talks for over an hour, you really want to get maybe some something interesting in what the guy's going to say. I hope I am. Hope I'm not boring you all. I, I'm holding back. I honestly, I admit I'm holding back talking about spirits and ghosts. I had a lot of scary things happen to me when I was young. Um, so, and everything that happened to me defied uh, reality. It defied logic, any sense, and it defied all laws of physics. A shadow is only a shadow. It's a reflection of something that is being shown by light. So why would a shadow leave someone's body and attack it? Even if you say it doesn't make any sense, well, now you have to come to a conclusion because that, that changed it all for me. Seeing a shadow move from someone's body and then staying still and then attacking it. Uh, um, yeah, attacking it with knives, with a knife. Where did the shadow pick up a knife? You see how crazy it sounds? But I saw it, so I have to talk about it. And I don't talk about it often. It sounds so crazy, I admit it. It sounds whacked. I sound whacked. Maybe I am whacked. <laughs> Brian Scott, appreciate your diligence, diligence, Bruce. Keep digging, buddy. Thanks a lot, man. That's, that's why I love doing it. You guys are, are awesome. P900, 5.0 filter, great info. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely, um, CE5 circle. And that's exactly what I did. Everything and anything that you saw me capture with a sun filter was with the 5.0 filter. The 5.0 filter, it's not that it's dark. It's, it's, it's thick. Like if you're not looking at the sun, you're not going to see anything through it. But... On a very, very sunny day, you can film around the sun with that filter. So things that are whizzing by the sun, you could really see them for sure. Sirikit, viva las moon. Thank you. La luna. Thank you. I had a little Nixon there. Maybe they'll talk about Nixon in disclosure. Forest disclosure, 818. Thanks for being here. Bruce, please check out my theory of Nazca lines on the moon. I posted on my Instagram, Force Disclosure 818, the Apennine Mountains resemble a robbed god reaching for stars. My IG is public. Will do, Force Disclosure. Thanks a lot for sharing that. But you told me last time, but it's last time I, I told you I don't uh, have Instagram. I don't have a phone. So unless I can check it without the phone. Free speech warriors in the house. The man working on making the link between the physical and spiritual. That man, Crawlface, that's the job that I asked God to give me when I was when I lost my dad. I wanted to be that word that you used. I wanted to be a link between um, the spirit world and my world. So I, I very stupid thing for a kid, twelve years old to ask, but I asked God. <laughs> that's pretty crazy actually i asked god to allow now keep in mind it's, it's a kid that wants to get close to his father who misses him i wanted to uh i did i asked god to allow um the spirit world uh to be able to come into um, the physical world and on earth to pass through me so i would be able to meet my dad and when when i said that a lot of Fucked up stuff happened. Really, really, really effed up. Uh, some of them were scary. Some of them were incredible. And I have no regrets today. It showed me there was something on the other side. And that's that scary truth for me made me find and, and uh, make me be able to see the UFOs on the moon. Think of it, guys. Every one of you that have filmed the moon, it's in your footage. 
your footage always has a UFO in it, but it's not always easy finding it. And he was able to tell me about um, the room he was in and the things he was being held by. That's interesting. If you're talking about remote viewing. Oh, you'll like this. The other night I had a dream. There we go. Fresh news. 247. Thanks for being here. Earth toroidal energy field. Bloodlines of fire. You're right in the money, man. Exactly. Exactly. Toroidal energy, man. A lot of people don't know about those energies. Kinetic energy. Another way that uh, they actually said Oumuamua was propelling itself through space by using kinetic energy. That's creepy. Like a duck. Like a race car. Kinetic energy. First race car is driving down a track. The second race car is behind it. The closer you get to that car, the, the, the faster you'll go because you're going to be into that drag of the vehicle in front of you and you, you, you can lay off the pedal more and more off the pedal and you have more power. And that's how racers use the tricks to be able to pass at the last minute. They go get that kinetic energy the same way the ducks fly. They fly um, and they follow themselves in a line through kinetic energy. The first one's distributing the most energy and the one at the back is distributing the less. So interesting. I wish they had taught me that in school instead of telling me that X plus Y was, I still don't know. <laughs> and he was able to tell me about that. That's very interesting, actually, as I plug in my, my mouse here because I can't even get off now because now my mouse is dead. There we go. Uh, Bloodlands of Fire, I need... Tejitans. Oh, I don't even know that myself, uh, Darla. Penny Bunny. Hello. Hello, Bruce and Skywatcher family. Love you, Penny. Always a pleasure to see you. You guys check out Penny's channel too. And he was able... Interview tomorrow, Penny. French interview FM, FM radio. <laughs> Going to be awesome. My eyes bugging me now. Oh, yeah, I would be proud for sure. This was about two and a half weeks ago. Pam Benedict, that's awesome. Fresh News uh, 247. Thanks for sharing that. Casa Nostra. Then a paint. It bright pink. Well, that's not fair. Casa Nostra tells me all the time that they love, they love my channel. They uh, write amazing comments all the time. Casa Nostra on all my, my videos, and I do not see Casa Nostra. I'll have to scroll back up. Shubin Sharma, thank you. Thank you very much for appreciating that, guys. Thanks to all who appreciate me talking about spirituality. I didn't think any of you would have appreciated it. Uh, and again, it's just my opinions that I'm sharing, and it's actually not my opinions. I'm actually only sharing uh, my experiences of what's going on. And what I went through, it doesn't mean that it's ghosts. It doesn't mean that it's spirits that I'm seeing. It doesn't mean I opened a portal to the other side to talk to my father. Some, a lot of you say, it's Bruce, your subconscious is so strong. The love for your father is making you uh, imagine uh, things. Well, that's the way ghosts protect themselves because a lot of humans think that. But no, ghosts don't come back and tell you about stuff that you don't know about so that I can tell my mother, is that true and stuff? I'm talking to ghosts. I'm talking to dead people that are out of this world that are elsewhere. Uh, I could, I could brag about it, you know, and I really honestly could. And I I'm in the, my place to be able to have bragged about it. All these paranormal researchers. I was doing that a long time ago, a long time ago, had a girl I worked with lost her grandmother. Um, and I'll be honest with you. Uh, I hope she's not watching. Uh, it'd be a little embarrassing, but I was, in love with who she was. She was married. I never told her. I respect the relationships. No guy should ever do that. Don't ever entice a woman if she's uh, married to try to get her uh, to go with you and stuff. That's that's not cool. But I liked her a lot and uh, never told her. And uh, But one day she asked me about her grandmother. Boy, I tell you, I'll be honest with you. The closer I am to someone, that's when I have these premonitions and uh, uh, thoughts of, of, of things that happen with them. 
you know, uh, talking about her grandmother washing dishes, washing dishes one day and brought her to tears. And I'm like, why the hell would that bring her to tears? Well, you know, that woman owned uh, a restaurant. That's all she did was wash the dishes all her life and took care of her restaurant. And, and me, the premonition that I had was, don't laugh at me, Audrey. I said, I'm sorry, a beautiful girl. Uh, I said, I, <laughs> I see your grandmother washing dishes. And she's singing and she's washing dishes. She goes, that's all she ever did. <laughs> so, so it was pretty cool to be able to have that, that experience. And the way, the way the spirit world protects itself is that you'll never be able to prove that to anyone. Unless you think outside of the box. Which not a lot of people do. Not a lot of people take the time to really look inside themselves. You know, maybe some of you haven't had, uh, you know, a death in the family or or a mark in your life, you know, along along your, your lifeline. Maybe, you know, I got read a long time ago. I know how to do that, too. I never talked to you guys about it. I know all about tarot reading. I know all the meanings. I know the zodiac signs. I know all about it. But... I find that I can talk a lot about it without necessarily saying, you know, I'm a tarot reader and stuff with all due respect to ones that do. Hey, listen, I got nothing against it, but I believe I go by intuition. I go by premonitions and I go by my gut feeling. And I suggest to everyone here that if you have a gut feeling, and I know each and every one of us always do stick to it, stick to your gut feeling. Always. You feel something's dangerous. You might be right completely wrong about it say to yourself you still detected that there was something the fact that we are alive then i'll get going guys thanks everybody this was really fun i'll be honest with you i love this uh this moment is proof that anything is possible that's right andriel and you know it brother um uh, anything anything is possible uh, absolutely casa nostra i do not see you but thank you for being here there oh, there it is Here's Casa Nostra, and just disappeared again. Hold on. Vegan life, hey, thanks. I'm sorry, guys, for missing out. I'm on two strikes again on this channel. But what do you, Penny, I don't understand what you mean about, about a strike on my channel, though. You can't get a strike on my channel. And a copyright strike for doing a reaction video on the fake king. Which king is that? You're talking about king, uh, the dead one there? The one that looks dead that's still alive? Two strikes again on this channel. I don't I don't know what you mean by that strike on the channel. I don't have any strikes on my channel. What? Use your other channel. You got a whole bunch of channels, Penny. Take advantage of using them. Thanks again, Vegan Life. Yep, Curious Bunny. There's our other channel. It's actually shocking how similar we all are. Uh, crawl face, it is, man. And I, I know exactly what you mean by saying that. Um, we express our feelings differently, but it comes down most often to the same bloody meaning, the same wants and needs that everyone has, right? Even the guy that's into badass, you know, building jumping with parachutes flipping over backwards and the painter, they're still the same because they're looking for that thrill thrill of a painting thrill of jumping off a building some people get thrills by uh helping others like crawl face you know that's how people are that's exactly how people are but it is shocking that we are all very similar and i see it so much i know for me for a fact says crawl face uh that almost all advanced life forms are searching for answers here you go. He, he said he said a mouthful right there. He's thinking hard there. And searching for answers to the same ultimate questions. Um, on my word of honor, I know for a fact. And I believe it. And I agree with you. You're 100% sure. And yes, that's, that's how I see it, man. I see people 
we all want the same thing. We want to be happy. We want to um, we want to learn. We want to uh, inform ourselves. And no matter what culture, what religion you are, whether you're with a secret society or just a mother at home with uh, alone raising her children, we're all looking for the same thing. That's how I see it. It's really true. More than you think. Chinoman is Chinoman here. Did not see him. Welcome, Chinoman. Mia, hello. Kinetic and potential energy is what they taught us in school. Now we're stupid. <laughs> well said. Yeah. Damn. They never talked about kinetic energy and potential for me. Um, actually, my teacher did talk about potential when she told my mother I had none. And that's about the only potential I heard about in school. Yeah, your son has a problem. <laughs> What's wrong with my son, Bruce? He has a mental block. So the understanding of what I was understanding, I was understanding I was already ahead of my time. That's what I'm going to say. I was already ahead of my time thinking out of the box all the time, all the time thinking out of the box. And when that teacher sparks, oh, isn't that funny? Mr. Sparks was the name of my teacher. <laughs> uh, math. Yeah, Bruce has a mental block. Mental block. I was blocked in my own mind when I was a kid. And then I went to English class. Then I was top of the class because I was making poems. And the teacher liked me. The guys hated me. <laughs> Bring it back memories. Thank you, Penny Bunny. Penny, it's always been crap on Bruce's channel. You come to Bruce's channel and there's always something going on. There's always someone being blocked all the time. So a great big thank you to all of you for having come by the channel. This is absolutely amazing, all of you. What's your thoughts about this particular equinox? Uh, the first in the age of the Aquarius. Yeah, very interesting, eh? I am an Aquarius, February 15th. It's, it's my time to shine. Uh, I believe A3 Anomalies, that the entire line of uh, history line was written all the way to the year 3000 or maybe 2030, depending on when life will end here. We're about five, 10 years from uh, having a very large cat catastrophic event. What I feel, uh, we're talking about feelings and premonitions. Well, there's definitely going to be a catastrophic event, but now. I'll never be able to know if it was uh, deliberate or if it's natural. What's What does natural mean, right? The animals in nature are not even natural. If they were, if they were uh, DNA manipulatedly made, who says that they're natural? Well, because the system told you. Nature, animals, natural. Natural nurturing of nature. Yeah, bull crap. We live in a very convincing illusion that's all planned, all regulated. And uh, yeah, next stream, we're going to talk about an automated earth. Could AI, could artificial intelligence take over entire planet? Because we're not ready to talk about if AI can be running the solar system yet. Imagine, oh, dare I say it. That's, I love these theories. Imagine if God was a computer. Where the hell did I get them, eh? But it's true. All these things ponder in my head every bloody day. Um, if my mother was here beside me, she'd tell you all that I told her when I was a very young age, four or five years old. Uh, I was always saying, praise the Lord. <laughs> always saying that. Uh, I didn't even go to church. But uh, I'd answer the phone like that. I think it's because of the PTL club I used to listen to. I used to get up at three or four in the morning at a young age, always get up, and I used to watch the PTL club. You know, that woman with all the makeup, praise the Lord. You know, they used to rob from people, basically. <laughs> That's what they were doing. But uh, why was I talking about that? I'm forgetting. I'm, I'm A couple of you have made me plunge into my younger years thinking about a lot when I was younger. <laughs> really funny. Yeah, confirmed, Penny. The real FM radio. Not the AM radio, which still would have been amazing, FM radio. Quebec, people in Quebec, uh, a lot of listens, listeners, by the way, Penny. I, I wasn't bragging about it, but she has close to 200,000 people, if not uh, regularly listening on the airwaves. 
uh, to her show alone. So that was pretty good. Um, maybe I'll get a couple of questions by um, um, the radio station itself. So, but yeah, it's confirmed. They're they're interested in the research. I'm telling you all. There's other radio stations and ufology associations that are going to be reaching me for sure. I believe this summer's the year that 21. 2021 is the year where Bruce exposes his research to the world. Um, my goal is to get this out at least two or three years before 2024 would be nice. That was the goal at the beginning in 216, and now 2024 is coming real fast. But it'll come. It'll come. Do you believe in evolution in organisms, Bruce? I actually do. That's a very, very awesome question. I I believe it's a possibility, you know, that, you know, a worm, right? Uh, then, you know, uh, um, organisms uh, um, in the water that come up on land and grow limbs and stuff. It's interesting. Uh, and it proves one thing, that DNA can always be manipulated. The polar bears, only weeks after everything started thawing, the polar bears, bears started growing brown fur and, and started growing fur less thick. They're changing. They're always changing. So say to you, Say to yourselves, who, excuse me, Bruce, who says that we haven't evolved that way? Who says that we have not, uh, like, maybe we started with like eh, little short hands, you know, maybe we heads and came out with regular heads. Maybe we were black. Eh? And, and then from that, a white race was developed, right? Or maybe there was a white race and a black race that came from that. Pretty sure the first race would have been black. More than white. And I have no idea why I would think that. It makes no sense thinking that, but uh, why not? I believe a lot of things that they told us in the past, probably a lot of lies. Everything is hidden. My grandfather, who was life smart, could build anything in wood. He was a genius when it came to building, and he was also a guy that knew a lot about secret societies without ever having mentioned it or probably even ever talking about it. Not probably, he didn't. But when my grandfather died, there were certain things that he had in his possession that I never told you about that absolutely blew my mind. My grandfather had a little metallic symbol of, of the Freemasons. And it was inside, a, you know, where he had held a bunch of little knickknacks and stuff like that. He had books, my grandfather, books on the queen, all the kings, the, the bloodline of, of in England, the, 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 the family tree in England of the queen. And then he had uh, billboards and stuff of the queen that was presented in, in Germany as being the queen of Germany, which people still today say, no, the queen of England is not the queen of Germany. Yes, she is. And yes, she was. Elizabeth has always been the queen of Canada. Also, people never understood that. Canadians fight with me. They fight the hell out of me when they say the queen has nothing to do with Canada. They're only, and then, and then, 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 then they say this, her image is only on our bills. You believe that? <laughs> the queen has nothing to do with Canada, but her image is on our bills. Come on. Why are the courts exactly the same here in Canada as in England, right? And, and everything, the hair that, you know, the twirly hair, like the, the, the judges will wear and, and all that. It, it's all, it all came from, uh, the queen was here in 50, 57 and she initiated, um, uh, politics and and, and uh, law and, and, and confederation, all that's all because of her. It's all laws and rules that they've been doing way back, right? So if if I asked you, would you believe that the pandemic, the Great Depression in 1930s, right, way back, do you believe that that was another biological attack and pandemic attack that they just wanted to regulate and unpopulate the world? If you want to know how many people are going to freaking be killed in this uh, time and age, go back and see how many millions of people they took away in the 30s. And then after that, back up just 80 years or 75 years to see the battle before that and how many millions of people that were lost. If, 
if the, these incidences and events didn't occur, all these deaths, we'd be too many already on here. So who says they didn't start bringing people up to the moon and elsewhere? Obviously, right? You know, you're not going to freak out if you're born on the moon. You won't know it. You're just going to be sitting there up on the moon. And for you, it's just, that's, that's how it is. Eh? The ground's gray because people think the moon is gray when it's not. It's green, brown, and uh, red. The moon is orange and red, mostly. Not gray and white. Lots to talk about. Anyways, I'm just blah, 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 talking about a whole bunch of stuff. That's enough. I'm probably making some people mad. Nathalie Flood, the Prétesse. Salut. Love you all. Ricky Moore, thanks, man. Bye, you guys. Floyd Stats. SETI 079. What comes with it? It's all good, bro. It's all good. What it is an additional identity to the whole, etc. Exactly, man. It's like it's like we're a reflection of, or, or should I go, should I go as deep as saying built in the image of <laughs> anyways, has a lot to do with the past. We say the past is whacked when we read all these Bibles and books and stuff like that. I see all those books as as being someone that wrote that to, to tell us exactly what the hell was coming. What the hell is coming? That's exactly what's coming. This pandemic is about uh Gene editing us. Yep. Uh, they want to kill our, kill our, uh, yeah, VMAT2. Listen, that's exactly what's going on. Uh, it's a test of uh, obedience. They are testing us. They're testing our obedience to see how far um, they can manipulate us. Closing our small businesses, forcing uh, your children to be out of school for several years and to not be allowed uh, you know, uh, teenager uh, depression and deaths and, and people are taking their lives. It's so sad. It's so sad when you think of that happening. British royal family colonized everywhere. They did everywhere. Canadian province is an extension of Great Britain. Yes, exactly. Hudson Bay Trading Company. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, know all about that. Established the start of it. Yes, they did. And... Um, she opened uh, the parliament here in 1957, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, or was it 52, 57? I think it is 57. And, uh, you know, a whole bunch of things came from that. Uh, uh, um, Ten years after Expo 67. So this was like, this, not like, it was the New World Order continuing. Different parts of the agenda. So for them to be able to be able to kill us in the 2030 agenda part of, 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 of it all, right? From 220 to 230, they're going to raise and make money with us. They're going to make all the old people feel safe by saying, work all your life, you will have a pension. Have you ever met anybody that made it to their pension? I've met one or two. Eh? Have you ever, have you heard a lot of people, hey, Mary Wins, have you heard a lot of people saying, I retired 25 years ago and I've been living on this uh, island here, uh, boating and having fun. Nope. Unfortunately, our parents, they retire to stay home and take pills and get sick and die. And it, it makes me sick seeing that. I don't want to do that. Hail the Bank of England signs the unemployment and social security checks here out uh, motherland. Hope things are going good up there too. There's a lot of crap going on in England too. A lot of crap. So, sex trafficking rings, pedophile rings, uh, sex slavery with children all the way up to uh, adults that are being crossed across the border and stuff like that. Apparently, the ones protecting us are the ones protecting the secret. How bad is that? So, say to yourself, for all of you wondering why Joe Biden is still sitting in the White House, that flake. Say to yourself, it's because the world knows what's going on, but that it's too deep in what happened. And they're trying to do it without there being a World War III, uh, or should I say four, because the third happened a couple of months ago that nobody knew about. So is it going to happen again, a war? Of course it's going to happen again. All the ambassadors, Vladimir Putin just pulled out, every bloody ambassador, Russian ambassador in Washington, D.C., forty less than 48 hours ago. 
Um, do you know why Vladimir Putin pulled out the ambassadors? Because they say that Joe is a flake. It's that simple. The whole world knows it. Whatever is hidden in the, in the States from everybody and online, it's not going to be hidden for very long. You going to rest before next live stream? Yeah, Clyde. That's what I'm going to have to do, my friend. I'm going to go make a video, actually, and uh, I'll talk to you guys all soon. The theory that bending gravity in front of a craft uh, and behind it to make it travel faster than the speed of light, um, will that make a craft appear flat and disc-shaped? Of course. Absolutely. They could be invisible. They could be uh, popping up several times. Uh, uh, like, like a flickering, seeing a UFO go by fast, you could see it flickering by on, off, on, off, on, off. Like it's on, off, on, off, on, off. Like I showed the teleporting UFOs on the surface. We see them on the surface. Some of them are, are long in the surface and some of them are disappearing. Psh, they appear beside, they disappear, they appear elsewhere. We see that. I see it live and I'm able to show it. So, yeah, Mindy. Well, thanks, Mindy Coleman. I'll be back on at 8. 8 Eastern, my friends. Uh, only in five hours. Two hours with you all. That's enough. I had a hell of a good time, to be honest with you. I wanted to conserve my voice for tomorrow's interview so that I don't flake out. My voice doesn't flake out. This is why me and read tomorrow, boss. Reconfirmé. Hey, Nathalie Fleur de Printemps, encore de la merde qui recommence euh, en France. Là. Our taxes just hiked way, way up USA. Yep. That inflation, get ready, silver stackers. Start stacking your silver. That's what you're going to do. We're going to see the silver price go down. I know a lot about silver too. I don't have to own any to know all about it. It's easier not owning any and just learning about it. Silver is going to drop at a very low uh, rate. But I'm telling you, it's only going to be there for two or three days. So we're, you know, they're talking about the silver squeeze. Anyway, Jean-Claude Mystic 2 channel talks a lot about silver. Maybe we'll have some chats about that too. You guys can uh, check him out. And I'll talk to you all very, very soon. I thank you all for the ongoing support. Bruce is leaving for real. I'm sorry to have uh, last so long here. Here. Put humidif humidifier in your bedroom. Here in Quebec, Casa Nostra, it is so bloody humid. We don't usually... Yeah, I have a dehumidifier here. Apparently, if you contain a craft in a light wave or something, you can give the craft quantum qualities and characteristics. Interesting, Andrew A lot of people travel, eh? But their minds all over the place. It's like you can make it teleport. And make it teleport, like you said, like quantum particles do. Yep. Do you understand? Yeah, you do. Actually, you do understand. Yeah. Yeah. Different ways to express the words and people are mixed up. But yeah, that that's, makes perfect sense. They have a force field that pushes them outside this universe just enough that the laws of gravity don't apply. Makes perfect sense. Yeah, uh, Bob Lazar talked to us about it, right? Bob Lazar talked to us about this is the UFO here, and UFO wants to get from this side. What This is Earth, and this is the moon. For them to go, they bend space and time around them by pushing it away. So to go from point A to point B, they bend time, and then the distance between them is no distance. So you leave here, and you appear on the moon immediately. It's interesting. Probably real, too. Scale up quantum physics. I have theories that would blow your mind one day. Andrew L., I know you're already blowing my mind, man. Keep them coming, man. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Hey, oh, Bruce. The course, Benji, 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 j'ai de la misère à tabarouette aujourd'hui. Jacques, hey, merci. Hey, je te blâme pas, Jacques, mais je vais te dire une affaire. Si le gouvernement persiste comme ça, là, ils vont se faire descendre. 
Parce que le monde va se lever de bout, là, puis, puis vont, ils vont brûler la place. Là, le niaisage, ça va faire. Puis c'est dégoûtant qu'est-ce qu'ils sont en train de faire. Puis il n'y a pas personne en contrôle. Check bien ça. Mais que ça frappe, ça va frapper comme du tonnerre. Puis les autres, ils ne verront jamais qu'est-ce qui arrive. Les gouvernements, ils ont peur de vous tous. C'est pour ça qu'ils sont sévères. Là. Parce qu'ils savent qu'il y a quelque chose qui s'est su. Très grave, qui s'est su. Et là, ils sont en train de se préparer pour une grande, une grande guerre civile. After all, we are full of electricity, right? Oh, damn right. And surrounded by metals, yes. Some even get metals injected liquidly inside of them. Silicone and, of course, carbon, yes, that too, because that's we let that off, right? Exactly. Perfect machine mix, isn't it? Yeah. We, are, we, were, made in a, we were made in a lab, bro. That's basically what I feel. I think we were made in a lab. Do you want to travel all over the world? Read a good book. Floyd Stats. Damn right, man. That's how I learned. That's how I learned about everything. I watched a movie about this event horizon. Thank you, Channel Man, for letting us know that. Time's not real. It's just a human imagination. Only a series of present moments exist. Exactly. And the reason why we age so much is because they're deliberately poisoning us. Why do you think they said people in the Bible live to be a thousand years old? Same reason why we don't live to be longer than 75 to 100. And it's pretty, pretty radical because you have people in mountains that are 125 years old. And I might even be wrong. It could be even 130, the oldest man in the world. True or not? I don't know. I would confirm, yes, There's he was pretty wrinkled. Pretty sure he is 100 and some years old. But we think that they're going to die, the ones in the mountains, without medicine, without protection, and they're stuck up in the mountains. They won't be able to get operated for appendicitis. They won't be able to get operated for strokes and heart attacks. They don't have strokes and heart attacks, and they don't have appendix attacks up in the mountains and stuff like that. It's the healthiest uh, uh, place to live. Maybe that's why on the moon they're living up in high altitudes, right? So we'll talk to you all soon. <laughs> this is the fourth goodbye, and I'm out of here for real this time. Take care, my friends. And uh, thanks to the ongoing support I'll be on at 8 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget to be uh, staying close by for that interview tomorrow, which is in French. I hope some people will be watching it. I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye-bye, everyone.